In this video, I'm going to be going over my SMS remarketing campaign that has been working out for me really well. As you can see on the screen, I've spent a, I've spent a total of $572 and made $72,000 in revenue. With this SMS remarketing, um, I think $72,000 is really good considering that this is nearly 20% of my revenue. And also, I made a video recently with my email remarketing, it's very similar, that converts of 23%, so that's $100,000 in revenue, plus this is 40% of my revenue. So what I'm gonna be showing you in this video is my two templates that I use, my two marketing campaigns that I use to recapture lost revenue. Um, this isn't gonna be a full breakdown on the SMS bump. If you guys do wanna know more about this, there's um, a guy called Jake from Casual Ecom. I'm gonna leave a link to his video in the description. He made a whole 34 minute video about everything you could possibly know about this app and how you can use it with a strategy and stuff but what he didn't mention in it is you know um the automations that i'm going to show you which are fairly simple to implement but i'm just going to go over it so if you want to download this app if you don't have it already it's in the app store you just type in sms bump and it comes up you can download it it's by um Yatpo and also with casual ecom he has a special this special link in his description i think it's an affiliate link where he gets a bonus and you get a ten dollar bonus as well um when you sign up so you guys can use this link if you want or just get it straight from the app store okay so i'm just going to jump into the two automations that i have going right now so you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about so i've tested a bunch of these since 2020 and as you can see the two best performing ones i have is the abandoned cart reminder after five minutes and then the abandoned cart reminder after one day the one that i have for five minutes abandoned cart it said hey first name they actually have short codes that you can put in it says hey first name what happened we noticed you were halfway through ordering but it didn't end up completing it so we reserved your cart for 24 hours let us know if you need help with anything smiley face you can pick up where you left off here and it um, the app automatically puts in your abandoned card URL to wherever this person left off. And then if they're in the, in the States, they can respond stop to opt out or they have an opt out link. And then the abandoned card for one day, um, it just says, hey there, the items in your cart are about to be sold out. To help make up your mind, here's an extra discount of, you know, whatever percent you want to have 5% in here. Get 5% off with this link. Again, it goes straight to their abandoned card. It expires in 24 hours, so don't miss out. Reply, stop to opt out. I've tested the 5 minute, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 4 hours, 6 hours, and 12 hours. And then when it really came down to these after I've looked at, you know, 80, 20 things to see which 20% are driving 80%. Of the results it was the five minutes and the one day so these are the ones that i've stuck to and i'm going to show you guys how to implement this right now let me just go to the dashboard so you can see so go to the dashboard and you go on the left side and you would see flows and automations and then you go to automations and you could create click create new right here when you, you can name this whatever you want so i'm going to just put it out after five minutes and then abandoned cart reminder yes delay message this is the one where you want to put in the the five minutes so this is the one that i have by default it just says site name um hello first name we noticed there was item left in your cart if you're ready to complete your order your order is going for okay so you just copy and paste um this that i have in here and put it in here and it would just be like this okay let me type this out and it would just be that and then that's all you need to do and it would be set in after five minutes after this person abandoned their cart and then you would do the same for the 24 hours so you could just do it go to days instead and just put it at one day so 24 hours after and then it would just be the same after one day and then you would not 51 days after one day then you would just save it and these would be automatically sent into people who abandoned cart and i have the same template for my emails as well this is just a, a quick little overview of what you can do with this app but just having these simple automations is re really well for me as you can see i have nothing special going on here just these two automations and they perform really well if you want to know more about this i'm going to leave a link to um jake's video in the description so you can watch the full 34 minute video if you want to see all that this app is capable of and that's all i have for you peace